So in this recording, we'll see how we can create a agent, um, Vertex AI um, agent using the Vertex AI agent builder and also augment that agent with an external tool. And this agent will be a shopping assistant agent. So when a user asks the agent that I want to buy a t-shirt, the agent will be able to search the Klarna website. This is the Klarna website. Uh, it should be able to actually trigger a search API to, to uh, get the um, product, the whatever the user asked to search, right? To get a list of this product and show that to the user. How do I do that? Right? So first of all, how do I create the tool, right? Which will, which the agent will use. So this tool that will create is um, like I, I, so if you go to agent builder, you'll go to the tool section and there, this is the tool that I have created. Let me click on it. So I named the tool as Klarna tool. Type is open API. Um, please note my uh, pronunciation, open API, not open AI, right? So there are three types of tools I can use, open API, data store and function. And today I'll show the open API tool where I need to give the uh, or uh, create the tool and, and uh, 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 using an open API specification. And this open API specification, and we'll see how, how I have created it. And people who are familiar with Swagger and open API, this will be very, very easy for you to understand. Uh, so the open API specification has the specifications of how the API needs to be called, right? What is, which uh, uh, server it is hosted? What is endpoint? What are the input and output parameters, right? Those are mentioned in the API. And this is what the agent will use to match the user's query with the API specification and then trigger the API. So let's see how it is created. So the tool is used to retrieve product information from Klarna. Right, and this is the open API specification that I have given. Right, so if you see here, here, um, so this is a very standard open API uh, specification. If you are creating APIs, you are already probably already using it. Right, so the server where it is hosted is this. This is where the API is deployed. Um, then these are the endpoints of the API. Uh, so this is the endpoint for the search API. Right, the one that we'll use right now. And the parameters, the input payload it takes is the country code, uh, the query, the query is nothing but like the product, right? If I say I want to buy a trouser or a t-shirt, right? This is what that query is. And this is a description of the parameter. Uh, please, please uh, uh, focus on this part, right? This is very important to describe as much as possible in the open API specification. This is the metadata that the agent will use to match the user's prompt with the uh, open API specification. That's why I, I always uh, say that metadata becomes a very, very, very impo important uh, item, data item in any generative AI uh, application. I sometimes back I, I wrote a um, blog on that, that uh, data is not all that you need you you need very 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 good metadata because metadata metadata is the uh, is the language of the data right so when the data meets the language model the language model and the data can converse with each other only if the data has metadata right metadata is that uh, language of the data right so that's why that's a separate discussion uh, I, I like this is very important that uh, if you have not collected your metadata uh, and if you have not uh, made it available, right, it, it will become difficult to create any AI uh, based application, right? So the other parameter is a size parameter. Size is the number of items that should appear in the search result, then the mean price and the max price. Basically, what is the price range that I'm looking for? So if I say I am looking for a trouser of uh, between 100 to 500, USD, so mean price will be 100, max price will be 500. So this is the input payload. The output payload is uh, of schema, the product, right? Uh, it 
will the output will have the attribute of the product, name of the product, price of the product, URL of the product, right? And the title of the product, right? This is what I am outputting in my uh, as items in my product response, right? So this is how the tool is created. Now let's see how the agent is created. So let me go to the agent. So this is the agent, name of the agent. You are a helpful shopping agent. You help users get the relevant products from the Klarna website based on the user query. Instructions, greet the user. When user asks to buy a product, you must get the below information. Ask the user how many items user wants to see in the search result. Ask the user what price range the user is looking for. And I had to add it because, and this is a prompt technique, right? To um, reiterate that it needs to do something. Because without this, I was saying that sometimes it is uh, not asking this or this data. So I'm saying, remember to get the number of search results and price range before invoking the tool, right? And the tool that I have created will be shown here. So I selected the tool, right? That is the agent setup. Now, example that I've given it is like this. Um, so as a user, I'll say, hi, I need to buy a t-shirt. Sure, I can help you. How many items would you like to see in the search result? Show me the top five searches, the user will say. Sure, please also tell me your price range. I'm looking for something between 100 and 500 USD. And then I do the tool use uh, uh, action. So if you see there is a tool use action, this is the tool use action. You click on it, like here, um, I mentioned which input parameters must be provided before the API can be triggered. Country code I did not select, it will be default US. The query, uh, right, which t-shirt, the user asks for t-shirt here, right? So this should be uh, part of the uh, input. The size, which is a search result, the user says, show me top five searches. So this is what I have mentioned here. The min and the max price is 100 and 500 because the user has said I'm looking for something between 100 and 500, right? This is the uh, tool use, right? Then the agent will trigger this, get the information, and the agent will list the items like this. Thank you for providing the information. Here are your top five items, right? Then the one, two, three, four, five, all the items. User will say, thanks a lot. Agent will say, is there anything else I can help with? User will say, no, that's all, thank you and you are welcome by for now. And then the conversation is stopped. This is the example I have created and that's all that you want to do. Now we are ready to test the agent. Let's see, right? I'll say, hi, I want to buy a orange browser. Sure, how many items show top three? Searches. Okay. I am looking for something between seven hundred and eight hundred. So now it is querying the Kelana website. So it okay. So if you see here, it actually showed uh, got some of the uh, the three thing right but i did not uh, mention whether men or women right so it actually put some women also uh, maybe all of them are women uh, let's see open the link in a new window yeah so this is a women browser let's see the other one open the link in the new window this is something uh with a trouser so i'm not sure what this is but it does say it's a trouser um so let me close this let's see the other one okay oops open the link in the window this also looks like uh, a trouser only, right? So maybe if I provide more um, granular uh, request, right, it, it will come, right? So so it it, it actually, and uh, this is the tool, uh, it was, um, the tool was um, uh, triggered and this is, this is what it went, right? Orange trouser input size 3, 700, 
1500 and this is the output that we got right this output is what the agent took and then gave it to me right so i'll say you know so welcome by for now right so that's what I wanted to show today. I wanted to show how we can create a agent using Vertex Agent Builder and augment it with an external tool. Thank you.